we're given a function that is quadratic, and it's actually in standard form. Notice that you actually learned how to factor this quadratic. So let's factor it right now. I would start off with x and x. That gets us x squared. What numbers multiply to negative 5? How about negative 1 and 5? Five, sorry, negative 5 and positive 1. And that's about it. We want to know what adds up to negative 4. So that would be negative 5 and 1. So for my factors, I have x minus 5 and x plus 1. The reason that we like to factor a quadratic, if we can, is because now we can see the x-intercepts very clearly. Well, let's see how I actually know what the x-intercepts are. X-intercepts happen when the y value is 0. Right? They all end up on this x-axis. All of those points have a y value of 0. So if we let f of x be 0, right? that's the same thing as y, and we were to solve this equation, we'd have to remember that in order for two things, like these two things, to multiply and get 0, one of them had to be 0. Well, maybe it was this thing. So let's say that x minus 5 equals 0. Well, if that's true, then x would equal 5. That just showed us that we have a point at 5, 0. Let me just go through that again. If I substituted 5 right here for x, 5 minus 5 is 0. Who cares what this is? 0 times anything is 0. Therefore, we have a point at 5, 0. I'm going to put that on my graph right here. Let's do it with the other factor. What if x plus 1 equals 0? That would mean that x is negative 1. Or in other words, we have an x-intercept at negative 1 comma 0. I'm going to put that on my graph as well. Now remember that when you graph a quadratic, you should get a parabola, which is u-shaped. These two points are on my parabola. And parabolas are symmetrical, which means that if I fold the parabola in half, these two points would match up. So think about there being that imaginary line right in the middle of those two points. Now how did I know to put it at 2? Why is 2 the middle of those two points? Actually, this is the line x equals 2. It's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is average the two numbers here. So 5 and negative 1. So if I average... 5 and negative 1, that means I add them up and divide by 2, I'll get 2. So now we know that the u is right around here somewhere. Right? We just need to find where that vertex goes. Like is our vertex here? Is it here? Is it here? Well look at this, the a value is 1. That means the parabola has to open up like this. So the vertex must be somewhere down here. We know that it's on this line. And this line has x equals 2 for all of its points. Let's plug in 2 for x and see what we get. So if I plug in 2 for x, and notice I'm plugging it into the factored form, I could have plugged it into the original one. I think it's easier to do this, though. Let's see, I'd get negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. That means that our vertex is at 2, negative 9. So I'm going to put a point at 2, negative 9. And we can start to see the parabola here. My a value was 1, right? This a value right here is 1 which means that I can go up 1 over 1 from my vertex in each direction to get some more points if I wanted to. And now I can draw in my parabola. And there it is. So again, we found the two x-intercepts. We found the middle of those, 
to be the axis of symmetry, and then the vertex had to be on that axis of symmetry. Let's try another one. This one's already in factored form. Excellent. Notice its value is negative 2, so it should be upside down like that. And since it's already in factored form, we can see what the two x-intercepts are going to be. This one tells us that negative 1 is an x-intercept. This factor says that 3 is an x-intercept. So let's plot those points, negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. Where's the axis of symmetry on this graph? Well, it's still in between the two, which in this case would be at x equals 1. We're almost done. We just need to know where is the vertex. And we know the vertex is on, is on that red dotted line. Let's find it. To find it, I'm going to substitute 1 in for x. So why am I plugging 1 in? I know that the vertex had to be on this line, and this line has an x value of 1. So if I want to get its y value, i got to plug in 1 for x. All right, let's simplify this. Looks like I'm getting positive 8. So we know that the vertex is at 1, 8. Let's put that on the graph. Excellent. It's upside down like we thought it was going to be. We can even use this a value right here, that's negative 2, to go down 2 over 1 from the vertex to get 5 points. Now I can draw a nice parabola through those points. It's time for you to try one on your own.